Hello, good evening. This is like such a gorgeous Sunday. And I'm so excited to be talking about this topic. It's just my dog playing with one of my phones. One moment. sacred feminine is something that's really really important part of us as human beings and it's a really important part of the entire experience of life because the feminine is actually what creates life in in uh, ancient tantra for example it was referred to as shakti energy which is the energy that literally like permeates through the entire of creation and actually gives life to everything you know gives animation to everything um the shakti energy the sacred feminine this is something that lives within our bodies but it's also something that can be incredibly confusing because we are told so many things about what does it actually mean to be feminine what is femininity what does it mean to be a woman there's so much um confusion around this i mean i definitely grew up being given a lot of ideas about femininity that were just, you know, when I look at it now, it was just out and out toxic that I was like, I was being told that because I was a woman as a, as a female, I was literally like inferior to men that I was supposed to be like cleaning up after men. I remember this is something my sister always would complain about, about how, um, you know, it was like we're just second class citizens that are being told here that we can't have the fun that men ha have, that we're supposed to be running around clearing up after them and so on. You know, I remember at one point and I was young, yeah, literally being terrified by the idea of like getting married, right? And ending up like with some guy that I was like the property of that was kind of telling me what to do. And um, um, yeah, yeah, you know, and I suppose, when I got out of this like family situation, which was putting onto me this, um, you know, idea of what I was, what, what female was supposed to be or what being a woman was all about. Um, I went through like a number of years where I just felt like being feminine, being a woman was weakness. It was dangerous. I was m spending most of my time kind of dressed in baggy clothes, trying to hide the fact that I essentially was a woman. I mean, there were so many messages coming at me in the world about, you know, being a woman and about female pleasure. I mean, I remember being around 18 or 19 years old and overhearing some male friends talking about one, a female friend of ours that they'd all um, slept with and just saying, oh, but she doesn't have much experience. She couldn't really take it. And me getting this idea that, you know, having sex and being a woman and being good in bed was somehow about being able to, to kind of take it you know which which yeah when you look at it my god yeah it's, it's quite um scary and frightening and it was no wonder i was having sex and i wasn't having orgasms and i wasn't enjoying it and i had no idea about my own body i had no idea about my own pleasure i had no idea how to access my pleasure and because i didn't know how to understand my body how to access my pleasure i didn't know um it wasn't just about sex, I guess this is what I'm saying. It was about my entire ability to create the life around me because, you know, just as our vaginas do produce and create life, they also produce and create our lives. And it was only by learning to, I'm going to say, get in touch with my energy and to get in touch with my femininity that I actually learned to understand how to start creating my life and we we as women we are so you know we we grow up and and equally men have this problem by the way i'm going live on uh um on wednesday with this really cool rasta poet to talk about like men's experiences around this so i hope you guys can join me on wednesday at like 6 p.m for this live okay but basically um uh talking now about like women's experience i i can see some women i know that are watching and you know we've experienced all of us i think just feeling that as women we are somehow less right and that our sexuality is dangerous you know if we flirt we're somehow using some kind of 
evil magic against other people if we show ourselves as sexual being we're asking for bad things to happen to us you know when reality is that you know the female the divine feminine energy is life force um and it's what creates all of us it's what the universe was created out of and um to get in touch with this energy ultimately you know we can you can read however many books or you can look at all these different polarity coaches who are all saying kind of different things about what what does it mean to be a woman but in reality this is about having an experience of this body you know and it's about understanding you know what this body is all about and of course we live in a men's world and especially for those of us here who are entrepreneurs and business owners and so on um learning to you know we go into like having our businesses right and we are um we are um how can i say it we're in the man's world right so we start operating according to the men's world you know and we start going out there and to Cynthia, i heard you just talking about this this week i think you know and it's so resonated how we go out there and we're trying to make things happen and we're trying to you know uh we're trying to operate from this male place of logic yet this is not you know this is not our place that's powerful to be you know it's like taking the world champion runner and the world champion swimmer and getting them both to swim and the, the the runner might be really really bad at it right you know but uh if it was running you know he would be winning and this is what we as women you know and more and more like i'm learning how to find this safe place within my own femininity where i can be and i can really really be in power and ultimately when it comes down to it this is about my relationship that I have built with my own vagina. It's about getting to know intimately my vagina, the different parts of my vagina, literally getting to feel the different areas which are, you know, it's almost like when you look at the key and you have all those little bumps and it goes into a lock and this is kind of like the vagina is like the lock and it has all these different lumps and bumps and areas inside which is basically, um, it's the, this is the, the key to opening the portal, right? You know, the portal that then gives us access to our divine feminine energy. And I mean, when I really first started getting into this practice, it was about learning how to, um, how to actually scan through and get to know these different parts of my vagina. And when I started going in there, the first thing I started to find was a lot of baggage a lot of old memories a lot of negative emotions bad experiences and so on and slowly i started to release these out and i started to let them go and i started to uh, find that as i did this i started getting this incredible like feelings of sensitivity inside of my vagina and i started to have like multiple orgasms and my whole experience with my body changed. In fact, my whole body became pleasurable and all these different, which I thought was unassociated health problems started to actually like disappear as my body started to feel good instead of being painful. The thing that I had always been battling up until that point. And it's so interesting going through this, this process of sort of flowering, right? And starting to get in touch with my feminine and starting to be a woman when I didn't grow up knowing how to be a woman and knowing how to be female. I grew up alienated from my femininity. So then I went through this phase and honestly, I think this is something I'm still developing and may well be developing for ever after, you know, this phase of learning to be powerful and strong and comfortable within my feminine energy. You know, and recently I would say, especially in the last months with the work that I've been doing on it, like I noticed myself actually literally like walking into the, into places and almost it's like, I mean, even one year ago, you know, with all this energy I was activating and not knowing quite always what to do with it, I was finding I was going in places and I was getting harassed, you know, but now that I've been learning 
how to just be more powerful in this energy. I'm literally finding like I'm walking into places and I'm always just getting served and admired and honored by people. It's a really incredible, crazy experience to, to, to you know, to just be like, wow, okay, you know, <laughs> this is beautiful. And this is what we as women need to be embodying and what we deserve, you know, and over the last weeks and months, I've really just been feeling how this has, um, you know, how this has just, um, I've been experiencing these transformations that have been changing so much within my life, you know, within the way I live my life, the way I communicate with people, the way I run my business, because obviously being a woman who is running a business, you know, when, when I'm, um, over the last, like, say, like a year and a half, I've had these huge shifts and, and transformations within my business that have really forced me to look at kind of like every aspect of myself, how I'm operating, um, what I'm doing, because so much of like my, my traumas and unprocessed things that I didn't even realize um, were still blocking me from my past, you know, because when we have like traumas around money, traumas around survival, traumas around our creativity, our expression, and so on, these go to live in our body and they're going to block us from doing what is our thing to do, you know, until we go in and we deal with them, we process them, they're gonna keep coming back and back again and again, you know? And the more that, and this was something like a couple of months ago, I think in May, two months ago, right? My astrologer, he was saying, Jade, you know, all through the eclipses, right? All this stuff is coming up and unless you can find a way to, clear that out and like vibrate on your original frequency which is the frequency of love you're like you're really going to find yourself blocked with what you're doing you know and it made so much sense in that moment what he said to me how there was all this we can call it traumas but i think when we're talking about traumas what essentially we're talking about is other people's programming programming around feminine being a woman and so on that's not authentic to the female experience you know Everything pretty much that women have been told to be be and do for hundreds, even thousands of years has just been the opposite of what actually being a woman is about, you know, because if we go back and we look at our ancestors thousands of years ago, were these weak, subservient, submissive people, these women, no, these women like gave birth in fields, they were warrioresses, they were powerful people they were also sensual they were also loving they were also compassionate they, they were very very incredibly powerful as well and in fact if you look at the archetypes in various legends and myths coming from all around the world like the ar archetypes of the female goddesses you'll find the love goddesses are usually warrioresses you know as well and i certainly find that part of my um practice with my um with my female and, and sexual energy, it's very, very important. And part of that, that I'm also going out and training and practicing martial arts and um, working with my body to get my body to, to just be in the best state it can be so that it's able to hold my energy and hold my feminine energy as well, you know? So, um, I mean, I love all this stuff about womb healing. I love about, you know, connecting with the wombs. It's so important. The wombs are the, you know, the, the, the space where we create life. And it's incredibly important to be connected with them and feel them. And we can actually put our hands, you know, and almost touch them. But ultimately, it's our vaginas that we really, really have direct access to. And the ancient Taoists understood that you know there are these different points in these different areas within the vagina that we can connect to that actually connect us to our spirits and they connect us into um certain emotional dynamics you know it's kind of like there's a connection that goes from the physical sensation into the emotional dynamics that then takes us deeper into these layers of creativity spiritual expression um wisdom knowledge and so on and take us just deeper and deeper and deeper into our consciousness when we actually learn how to use our vaginas and how to become connected in with the, these energies 
And the huge shift that I experienced of actually going from never having an, had an orgasm and not feeling really anything inside of my vagina um, into just having this extremely sensitive vagina that it wasn't just a, um, you know, a, a pleasure thing. It was a part of me, you know, becoming activated and um, I remember being in this incredible workshop where um, we were asked by, or we were, to, we were, we were instructed, or, or whatever you want to say, or it was suggested to us to actually ask the vagina, what does she want before any kind of touch or penetration of the vagina were to happen? And what I discovered over this time as I was doing this work was actually that the vagina is literally a, uh, um, it has a reflex to suck, you know? Like we're constantly hearing about how this guy's dick isn't big enough or this woman's vagina is too loose and so on. The thing is that the pelvic floor is an extremely active thing. It's an extremely active part of us. So when when we start to activate our vagina, what happens is that there's this activation of this sucking reflex in the vagina, which means that we start to be able to like take and pull in the penis so that the penetration goes from where before we're kind of this passive thing that's being penetrated and pounded and banging and the, what I mentioned earlier about the taking it and so on and so forth, is we actually become and get into the place where it's us who's taking in and it's us who's taking control and the thing is that the realms of pleasure the realms of sexuality actually are the realms of the feminine if you looked at shakti energy there's a strong correlation between shakti energy <coughs> excuse me <coughs> let me grab some water Sorry, between Shakti energy and sexual energy. These two interlink, they combine and they're like, you know, the one and the same. And I think that so much of what's going wrong in the world is actually the fact that we as women are not in our sexual power. You know, it's not supposed to be, of course, look, men are seducers, yeah? This is the nature of, of the masculine, to seduce. Yet, it's our role to initiate the man into the sacred experience of sexuality through bringing him into a slow experience of sensuality. And we as women, most women are not doing this. Most men don't understand, most women don't understand and of course, you know, part of the result of this is a lot of men having premature ejaculation and this kind of like other kinds of sexual problems, but also um, um, it has a much deeper repercussions because the male, we're not standing up to balance the male energy and because we're not standing up to balance the male energy, it's all flying out of control. And so many of the problems we see around us in the world is actually down to this, that we as women haven't stepped into our power. Yes, sure, I totally get it right. We've all suffered, we've all been pushed down, we've all been oppressed, you know, but this is our challenge. It's not, we are not, um, sure, perhaps we have been victimized, but we are not victims. We are extremely, extremely powerful. Nobody would have done this to us if we were just so weak and pathetic as is made out that the feminine is. You know, we do that. This has been done to us because we are so powerful, and it's been done by people who are afraid of our power. But the power is not a bad thing, it's a necessary thing, you know. And we can argue with men, we can try to make men act like women, we can, you know, s scream me too, or, 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 you know, I'm all for feminism, don't get me wrong, but feminism needs to be us standing in our power as women, not us acting as men and this ultimately where does it come from it comes from 
connecting into the vagina, connecting into the body, connecting to our sensuality, connecting into everything that we are gifted with, all these beautiful things from our rage to our sensuality, to our orgasms, to our pleasure, to our fears, to our worries, to our compassion, everything that makes us females, all of these parts need to come together and they need to be integrated. So I'd love to uh, offer, does anybody have any questions here? Can I invite any questions to come up in the chat here? First of all, let me just check. And by the way, I'd love to know if you're here, if you're enjoying it, please do give me a comment. Is this all making sense? Are you interested to know a little bit more about um, getting in touch with your vagina? Is this all making sense? Are you interested to know? <laughs> okay, well, it's been such a pleasure to be here today, and I want to invite you to come join me tomorrow and come join me on Wednesday for my live event. Then have a great rest of your weekend. Sending lots of love. Ciao for now.